Good morning, National Dayers! It's Mrs. Erickson. Today is Friday, July 28th. It is the 209th day of the year. There are 156 days left. Happy National Soccer Day! National Soccer Day is annually celebrated on July 28th. It honors and celebrates soccer, one of the world's most competitive and popular sports. Every year, more than 17 million Americans watch soccer matches. The irresistible urge to kick a rock lying by our feet is something we all have in common, and a soccer ball is just a bigger but less heavy version of a round stone. So, following that logic, every civilization has had its version of soccer from time immemorial. People in ancient China played a type of soccer known as kuju using a ball made of leather and feathers. Kuju later spread to Japan where it was known as kamari. Similarly, the Aztecs played a ritualistic game called olama. Later, the Mesoamericans used rubber balls, which were absent in other cultures, to play a similar game. In its modern form, soccer can be traced back to London. It was played in two styles, rugby and eton. In the beginning, the game rules were liberal and there weren't many restraints, so many people participated in the sport. Eventually, the game's violent nature and serious injury toll led to a countrywide ban. Yet the game was so popular that the restrictions were lifted instantly. A few centuries later, in 1863, the first football association was formed in London. The association standardized and established the first version of soccer rules. They also banned the use of hands in the game and created standards for the size and weight of the ball used in the game. The new set of rules and standards divided the game into two classes, football and rugby. Rugby allows players to hold the ball in their hands and run, but soccer does not. Over time, the game's popularity spread from England into its colonies, such as what is now known as the United States. Today is also National Milk Chocolate Day, National Talk in an Elevator Day, National Water Park Day, and Buffalo Soldiers Day. All right, National Dayers, we're going to make a soccer finger puppet gather the following supplies. You'll need a thick piece of paper like cardstock, pencil, markers, and scissors. All right, so the first step is to make the finger holes at the bottom of your paper. So you're gonna wanna mark your fingers and the width of them and a little bit uh, space in between them and cut those out. And it could take a few tries. You may need to make the holes a little bit bigger um, to make sure that your fingers fit in there really well. And then once you have those finger holes set, you're going to draw your soccer player. So the holes are going to be the soccer player's legs. So then you're going to want to start with their shorts and draw those. And then working up from that, you're going to do a shirt. And I added an arm across the body. And then I decided I wanted the other arm like pointed up in the air, like pass me the ball. And so I drew that arm pointing up. Then I added a head with crazy hair. And then I outlined him with black marker and then colored him in with all different colors. And then it was time to cut him out. Check that out, you have a soccer puppet now where you use your fingers like his feet to kick the ball. And if you do this craft with a friend, you can each have your own soccer player and then you're able to play finger puppet soccer. This is a fun one, right? Referee Commando coming at you in his cute soccer shirt. I got my little soccer guy right here. And I'm gonna make another one for my friend so we can play soccer with our cute little guys. So I had to, sorry, I had to put the little soccer ball in my pocket because Commando kept hiding it from me. He was loving playing with this. Keep smiling, National Dares. Have a fabulous Friday. 
an amazing weekend, and we will see you right back here next week. Bye. Look, Anders. Ooh, he get the ball. Go get it. It's time for super spectacular shout outs. Shout outs today start us off with Ms. Klein and everyone in the ESY Extended Summer School Program at Wayzata Transition Center in Plymouth, Minnesota. Next up is Ms. Megan and Ms. E and everyone in the High School One Program at Sherwood Autism Center in Kansas City, Missouri. And our third shout out today goes out to Mrs. Alston and everyone in the second grade summer camp program at Gifford Youth Achievement Center in Vero Beach, Florida. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for your support. I hope you loved your shout out. Teachers, if you'd like to get your class a shout out, just complete the Google form. The link can be found below this video in the description. And here it is, our updated super spectacular shout out map.